in this module we will continue our search for the hereditary molecule. In the series of experiments that I will show you, we are going to use a phage, a bacteriophage, it is a type of virus. Let me first of all show you the, the nature of this particle or this organism. Viruses are made up of two types of pro two types of macromolecules, proteins and DNA. Proteins make the core in which DNA is present. These viruses attach with the bacteria and they enter the bacteria and they multiply and they produce progeny. They kill the bacteria and more viruses are released with in, uh, 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 more viruses are released that can infect other bacteria. This is basically the life cycle of a bacteriophage virus. However, back then people did not know what part of the virus entered the bacteria. So he here we are going to talk about a series of experiments. This exp in this experiment, people grew viruses in two types of radioisotopes. What are radioisotopes? Radioisotopes are basically, as we know, uh, we, uh, we have talked about this, that nucleus of an atom has a specific numbers of neutrons and protons. The heavier isotopes have more neutrons than the normal naturally existing isotope. So here they use two types of isotopes. One of them was sulfur, which is present in the protein. The other is phosphorus, which is present in the DNA. So they grew these viruses, two types, same virus, they grew in two different media. One contained heavy isotope of sulfur, the other contained heavy isotope of phosphorus. So I hope you see where things are going. They used these bacteria to infect, they, they used, I'm sorry, they used these viruses to infect bacteria. So when they infected these bacteria, they allow, gave it a very short time duration. Soon after these, these bacteria were exposed to these viruses, these bacterial cultures were put in the blender. So basically what the blender did, it, when it rotated, it knocked off whatever was present outside the bacteria. There are two choices we have. Either the protein went inside the bacteria or the, or the DNA went inside the bacteria. Whatever molecule went inside the bacteria is the molecule that is responsible for producing progeny virus. And what would produce the progeny virus? It would be the hereditary molecule. So after the, the, these scientists, they, they had these, uh, uh, after they put these cultures in the blender, they, they put the sample in the centrifuge. And now what centrifuge does is, is basically the heavier material settles at the bottom. So if this is a test tube and we put it in the centrifuge, the heavier material will be in the bottom and the lighter material will be at, on the top. Bacteria are larger particles in our system. So they will be at the bottom and the supernate or the clear fluid will contain whatever is whatever else is left or probably the virus part of the virus that did not go inside the bacteria. So they measured the radioactivity. Where is the radioactivity? We have two samples. One sample had viruses which had sulfur, radio, radioactive sulfur. The other sample had radioactive phosphorus. So if the, the, the pellet of, or the, whatever is centrifuge at the bottom, the pellet, we call it pellet, if the pellet of sulfur was radioactive, it would imply the sulfur went inside the bacteria. However, if the pellet is, uh, of, a pellet of the bacteria which were exposed to viruses with the radio, heavier radioisotope of phosphorus, if that pellet is radioactive, it would employ, it would imply that our DNA molecule, since phosphorus is in present in DNA, and we have only two candidates, protein or DNA, our DNA is the molecule that went inside the bacteria. So it turned out, of course, that it was the, the bacteria or the sample that contained viruses with a heavier isotope of phosphorus, that pellet was radioactive. They didn't stop there. The scientists did not stop there. They did additional experiment. They allowed the bacteria to grow. They had centrifuged the bacteria and they saw that 
the sulfur bacteria they allowed both the samples to grow the sulfur bacteria when they they were allowed to to grow uh, bacteria with containing heavy isotope of sulfur in uh, with the uh, within the virus when they allowed it to grow these their progeny did not have uh, they were not radially radio uh, they did not have radiation they were not radioactive the the phosphorus containing bacteria which had the higher uh, which had the heavier phosphorus atom in them they when they made progenies when these viruses were allowed to grow uh, these bacteria were cultured and uh, successively these viruses the, the the generation the next generations also had phosphorus so this experiment hershey alfred hershey and martha chase experiment in 1944 basically was experiment that conclusively produced that convinced the scientific community that dna is the heredity molecule in the next in the next module we will see some features of dna now we have established the dna is the heredity molecule there was a race to study and understand how this molecule functions we'll talk about that in the next module